Let's solve another problem related to the continuous uniform distribution. Assume that the bus arrives at the closest bus stop every 15 minutes throughout the day. So the bus arrives now and then 15 minutes later arrive again and so on. If you show up at the bus stop at a random moment during the day, what is the probability that first you will need to wait at most five, five minutes? Uh, B, you will need to wait more than 10 minutes. And C, you will need to wait between four and 10 minutes. So let's find these three probabilities. And for the first one, what is the probability that you need to wait at most five minutes? So at most five minutes means five minutes or less than five minutes. So it will be a good idea to make a graph of the uh, probability density function. And obviously we have the x axis and the y axis for the probability for the for the density, probability density function. And then we need to wait between zero minutes because that's the moment when you arrive and the bus is sadly is there. Yeah? So you just don't, you don't wait any, any time. But sometimes you need to wait for 15 minutes. It's the maximum that you wait. And that happens when you arrive to the bus stop and the bus is now sadly is going, is leaving the bus stop. So, so, so for that reason, you can wait between 0 and 15 minutes, and you know this is a continuous uniform distribution. The density function will be a horizontal line. And we have this square that we have a hundred percent, this rectangle, we have a hundred percent in this rectangle. What is the height of the rectangle? If the, if the base is 15, 15 minutes, so the height needs to be 1 over 15, the height of this rectangle. So 1 over 15 is the height. And now I can answer whatever question about this probability. For example, if they ask me less than five minutes, so the five minutes will be in some part here of the graph, and the only thing that I need to do is just compute the area in this rectangle here, between in this rectangle between zero and five. So that will be the answer. This will be the probability that the random variable uh, is lower or equal to five minutes. Or better, in another way, the probability that the random variable is at most five. So, and this, this will be this answer. The, the height that is one over five times the base that is five. It will be five over 15 that it is 0 0.3333 or 33.33% will be this probability. Let's answer now the second question immediately. Yeah? So, what is the probability that you need to wait more than 10 minutes? And again, the 10 will be in some part of the graph, 10 will be here, and the, 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 the thing that you need to do is just uh, find the probability of the area in this rectangle here. Yeah? And look at that. If you, you can solve it if you before find the height of the rectangle. Yeah? Okay, now again, this is, the, this is the, the, the area that you need to find. So the probability that the random variable will be 10 or more this actually, because this is a, a continuous a continuous variable, you don't need to, to type the equal signs. Yeah? So here is x more than 10. Remember that the probability that the random variable that is continuous be exactly a number 10, it will be zero. So for that reason, it's not a mistake to write it in this way, x more than 10. So obviously, the, the, the way that is, uh, is written here is, is that the way, the, what is the probability that they wait more than 10 minutes. But if I ask you 10 minutes or more, will be the same. Okay, so it will be the height of this rectangle, 1 over 15, times the base. But the base is again 15 minus 10 equals 5. Yeah? 
so it will be the same answer that before. So it will be 0 0.33, 3 or 33.33%. .33%. So the probability, and that is loose obvious, yeah? The probability that you wait less than five minutes is the same that the probability that you wait more than 10 minutes. Now we can focus in the last question. What is the probability that you will need to wait between 4 and 10 minutes? So 4 will be a number here around this part and 10 will be here. Yeah? So that means that you need to compute the area between 4 and 10, but this area is again a rectangle. Yeah? So this blue area is the one that we need to compute and again will be an easy an easy problem. So you need to find the, the, the area of a rectangle. So the probability that the random variable b o o is between 4 and 10 is the same it is the same of the area of this of this rectangle. So it will be the, the height of the rectangle, 1 over 15, multiplied by this base. And this base will be 10 minus 4, the, the base, yeah? So it will be 6. This is actually 6 over 15, and 6 over 15. This is 0 0.4? Yeah, 0 0.4. So 0 0.4, and if you want to write it in percent, will be 40%. So this is, this show you that answer a question related to a continuous uniform distribution is always easy. Okay, thank you.